as uh, myself and two other uh, Poetry Out Loud champions are going to be reciting in a little while under the Poetry um, Pavilion. I'm going to be reciting the piece I did last in the national competition, which got me my first place, which is For My People by Margaret Walker. And it just portrays such a beautiful image of the African American community. And I always want to carry a positive image with, with me wherever I go to a site. And at the end of the poem, it's just so uplifting and so empowering. I had to do it. Now, what have you been up to since you won the National Poetry Out Loud finals? Now since that you're in national. I won the finals. <laughs> My life has been absolutely a whirlwind. Poetry has completely taken over. It's all I do now, and I absolutely love it. Um, I worked with Marianne Hoberman for a week, who's the United States Children's Poet Laureate. There's possibilities I might be starting a book. I've been doing performances all over the nation. So exciting. It's changed my life, and I would do it all over again if I could. When I first started Poetry Out Loud, I liked poetry, but it wasn't my passion. And doing a competition like this will absolutely change your life, even if you don't become national champion. Just being in that environment with other students who are passionate about the same things that you're passionate about, it's an amazing experience. You learn about poetry. You learn about yourself, and I would definitely 100% recommend it. I'm Will Witham. I'm from Bangor, Maine, and uh, I went to high school at, at Bangor High, and now I'm a freshman at Harvard. So, uh, what, what advice would you give a student who, you know, is not maybe the biggest poetry fan, but they've heard about poetry out loud? Uh, what would you say to them? Uh, um, I'd say just go for it, because the thing I really like about poetry is that anyone can recite it, anyone can read it. Um, I really like accessible poetry. Um, I think everyone it should be shared. Like it's it's like a resource that everyone can use. Um, so, you know, like find a poem you like, try reading it aloud to yourself. Um, Think about what the themes of the poem are and the morals, and uh, you know, just mull those over. I'm reciting Doña Josefina Counsels Doña Concepcion Before Entering Sears by Maurice Kilwain Guevara, which is this really, it's pretty funny actually, it's like half in Spanish and half in English, and like it makes you laugh. Um, but there's also this deeper moral to the poem where Basically, it's two Hispanic women talking about going to, um, they're going to Sears, and they're, they're a little scared because there were previously some, some robbers that went into the store who also spoke Spanish. So these Hispanic women are afraid of speaking Spanish because they don't want to be identified with these men. And, um, you know, the poem can be very humorous, but it also has that underlying meaning, like, wow, like, you know, there's definitely some discrimination going on, and these people are, like, afraid to use their own language. How does a guy from Maine embody two Hispanic women? Um, good question. You, you use a high voice and you use an accent. Um, my mom is Italian, so Italian, you know, I, I can speak Italian, Italian, similar to Spanish. I don't have a terrible accent. Um, but, you know, it's sort of a universal archetype, I guess you could say. Hello, my name is Yusuf Piaz. I'm from Auburn High School in Auburn, Alabama. I'm going to be reciting This is Gregorian by Sharon Olds and Playing Dead by Andrew Hudgens. And I chose Mrs. Gregorian last year because it really spoke to me as a student who used to be quote unquote bad and then was sort of saved by a teacher. And Playing Dead by Andrew Hudgens is just a very fun uh, poem by an Alabamian poet. Uh, last year was my first year and it was actually the first year for our high school. Uh, my English teacher was very involved and really loves poetry and likes to likes for students to discover poetry in his class and he introduced poetry out loud to us and he had it at our school he organized the whole contest and he encouraged students to join and that's that's what I did and I was surprised and shocked that I won and that it brought us so far but I'm very happy with how things turned out. I would tell anyone who is interested in public speaking or the art of performance and storytelling that this is a program for them it's not just about poetry it's also sort of dramatic and fascinating to see someone tell a story and to be part of that is, is really very interesting.